Hello, my name is Cesar Severo and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. In this short video, I'm going to cover a feature introduced in 14.0 called Cluster Management Project Template. In this release, we're moving away from the CICD template-based approach for cluster management. Instead, we're using this template. And the benefit for this uh, new approach is that you have total control of your applications that are deployed through this cluster management project template. You can customize them any way you want. Additionally, the new applications will be installed using Helm uh, version 3. And in this release, the uh, cluster management project supports only a certificate-based cluster integrations, but we plan to add support for a GitLab Kubernetes agent uh, in the next release. So let's go to showing this new feature. So here I'm inside a group called Tech Marketing. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new group. And we can call it GitLab 14.0. You can make it public or private, it's up to you. And let's go ahead and create a Kubernetes cluster at the group level and then using this new, new way of, of rolling out applications to it. So first we need to create the Kubernetes cluster. So we click on Kubernetes. We're gonna choose Amazon EKS. And then we can choose US East 2. And we'll call it C Severe EKS cluster two. After a few minutes, this message will switch to a message in green that says cluster was successfully created. So now your EKS cluster is up and running. And notice now that uh, in here, there is no longer a tab for applications. And there's actually a, a warning message here saying, uh, warning you that one click application management was removed as of GitLab 14.0. Uh, let's move on to the next step, which is actually how do we deploy, uh, you know, Ingress, uh, Cert Manager, for example, and other applications. So for that, we need to go to the group and let's create a project here. And let's click on create from template and let's look for GitLab cluster management project here. So let's use the template, let's call it cluster management. We can make it private or public. I'm going to make it public here. Okay, now that the project has been created, you see uh, some files here. So what you need to do uh, next is go to the open the Helm file YAML. And this is what's included in the uh, default template. There's a bunch of applications here. The ones we want to uncomment are um, Ingress, Cert Manager, and Prometheus for monitoring. Remember, when we can make a commit here, uh, this pipeline will be automatically launched. Uh, but before we make this change, uh, we need to go back to your Kubernetes. Uh, let's go back up to the group and to the cluster. And we go to advanced settings. And here where it says uh, cluster management project, you need to select the project that we just created to do the cluster management. And uh, here, as the note says, uh, this project can be used to run deployment jobs with Kubernetes cluster admin privileges. So we save the changes. Now we go back to the cluster management project, go to helmfile.yaml, and let's edit this file, and I'll comment um, ingress cert manager to handle all the certificates, the secure communications, and Prometheus for monitoring. And we need the ingress to be able to access uh, our EKS cluster from, from the internet. So as soon as we commit changes, if we go to CICD pipelines, there's this pipeline running. And this is the pipeline that is actually uh, deploying the applications to the EKS cluster now. After a couple of minutes, uh, you will see that the pipeline, pipeline completes. All the jobs are here green. So that means that the applications now have been deployed to the, the EKS cluster. That means uh, the CERT manager, Ingress, and uh, Prometheus are up and running. Now, in order to complete the configuration of the EKS cluster, we need to set the base domain. Now, to be able to set the base domain, we need the IP address uh, of the Ingress that is up and running. So how do we get that? Let's go through the steps. So first I want to paste a command here. So this command will add an entry to my local kube config so that I can then issue kube control commands from the, my command line. So I have a previous run here 
uh, right above it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to copy. You can get, get your own ARN from your AWS account. So we're gonna paste that and then I gotta put my cluster name here. And the rest is correct. And then I press return. All right, so that has been added now to my cube, my local cube config. So now I can issue uh, cube uh, control commands. Let me execute it one more time. So let's uh, paste this other command. There you go. So this command will return the value, the IP address of the ingress. There you go. So let's break out of it now, control C. I'm gonna copy the external IP address. And then you need to add a C name type DNS entry uh, that points to this external IP. So I have this domain called gitlabworkshops.com. So I've logged on to the, to Ionos is the one, uh, the provider. So I've logged on to the interface. Uh, I've gone to the DNS UI and I'm gonna go ahead and add a record. Okay, good. So I'm gonna add an add DNS uh, record and it's gonna be C name and then I'm gonna call this wildcard.csavedra1 and it's gonna to point to the IP address uh, returned by the cube control command that we just copied from the from the command command line here. And then I'm gonna save. Good, so the C name record has been uh, added to the DNS. And the last step is for the base domain, I need to say csavedra1 and is gitlabworkshops.com. And then you click on save and that's it. So we have finished setting up the EKS cluster and we have deployed applications to it. And now we can manage those applications from the cluster management project that we instantiated from a template. Uh, from now on, we're going to customize if we need to, the applications that we've uh, deployed to Kubernetes uh, from, from uh, this project. So if, let's say if we wanna change some parameters in Prometheus, then we, can, we could do, do it here. You know, we can customize each of the applications at, at a more granular level. Very good. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this short video and uh, until next time. Thank you.